What are natural resources? Natural resources are things that people use that come from the environment. Earth's natural resources include light, air, water, plants, animals, stone, soil, minerals, and fossil fuels. In our solar system, the Earth is truly unique, and it's kind of amazing. People of Earth must have some natural resources to live. They use others to simply make their lives better. Natural resources can be considered either renewable or non-renewable. And it is gonna non-renewable resources. Facing off against the challenge of renewable resources. Non-renewable resources have a fixed amount, and they can be used up. Examples include coal, natural gas, oil, minerals, and nuclear energy. Technically speaking, even the sun's energy is non-renewable, but there's so much of it, it can't be used up in a human timescale. Renewable resources are just that. They are replenished by nature within a very short period of time. Renewable resources rely on the Earth's natural processes to be replaced. Renewable resources include plants, animals, water, and air. Trees are renewable. They can be used by humans and then replenished by nature in a relatively short amount of time. Here's how it works. We can cut trees down for lumber to build houses or furniture, or even use the wood to make something like this. Awesome guitar. <laughs> In place of the tree we cut down, we plant a seedling. And in 40 to 60 years, there's a full grown tree to take its place. Water, through the water cycle, is replenished or renewed much, much more quickly. The water that we drink, which incidentally makes up most of our bodies, is replaced in a short period of time by the water cycle. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation. See? Replenished by nature. That's what makes it renewable. It's a cycle. The cool thing is, water is moving naturally through the water cycle, and the energy in that movement can be harnessed by humans as renewable power. Wind energy comes from solar heating of the Earth from the sun. The heated air rises and the cooler air moves in to replace it. Ta-da! We have wind. The wind energy can be converted to energy that humans can also use. There are cycles all throughout nature. The oxygen we humans consume to live is replenished by natural cycles. We exhale CO2, carbon dioxide, which is absorbed by plants. Oh. And then, in combination with sunlight in a process that we call photosynthesis, they exhale oxygen that we can breathe. <laughs> It's replenished by nature. There are lots of cycles in nature. The Krebs or nitrogen cycle, the carbon cycle, the oxygen cycle, the water cycle. There is also a rock cycle. There are even cycles within the earth, like geothermal energy. The water starts as rainwater that has fallen to the surface of the earth, percolates down to a magmatic, not magnetic, heat source in the earth. That heated or hot water now rises back to the surface because it's lighter. That hot water can be used as energy by humans and the cycle starts all over again. This cycle is continuously replenished by nature. Fossil fuels, natural gas, coal, oil are valuable and powerful sources of energy for humans. 
We make use of them by extracting the energy they contain by burning them. They are, however, non-renewable on a human time scale. When used, they are not replaced. Coal is a fossil fuel. It began as plants in a swamp a very, very long time ago. <laughs> After the plants died, thousands of years of pressure from sediments pressing down, combined with heat, changed those plants into coal. Ooh. Fossil fuels are extremely useful to humans, but they're not being replaced as quickly as they are being depleted. So eventually, they'll be used up. They are non-renewable. The sun is an interesting case in the renewable versus non-renewable conversation because the sun is really huge. And technically, its energy is non-renewable. It's not being replaced. But the sun is so huge. The use of the sun's energy by humans will not use it up. That's kind of hard to believe, isn't it? that something could be that huge? Imagine that the sun is the size of a basketball. Then that would mean that the earth is the size of this wiffle ball. Nope, this eyeball. Nope. The earth would be the size of this teeny weeny little BB. That's right. If the sun were the size of this basketball, the earth would be the size of this itty bitty little BB. That means there's a lot of solar energy available to us Earthlings from the sun. A lot. I even have a 21 panel solar array in my front yard to capture the sun's energy and to use it in my home and TV studio. I once visited an elementary school in Southern California that had solar panels over its parking lot. It used that energy to power the elementary school. Cool, right? These days, there are lots and lots of humans. Energy is necessary for all human activities. Right now, there are about seven billion of us. That's the most in all of human history. So, Using nature's resources in very smart ways is really important. Alternative energy resources are considered renewable resources and rely on natural processes. Flowing or moving water, sunlight hitting the surface of the planet, heat in the core of the planet, the movement of air, plants growing and dying, are all part of the Earth's natural systems which produce energy that humans can use. Alternative energy resources include sun, wind, geothermal, biofuels, or biomass. Wind energy comes from changing the power of moving air into a useful form that we can use. Wind can be captured by wind turbines that spin and produce mechanical energy, which is converted into electrical energy which we can use. Solar energy. Energy coming from the sun is converted to electricity that we can use. Sunlight hits a solar panel. The solar energy is converted to electric energy and we can use it. Hydro or water power. Hydropower is energy captured from moving water. Hydroelectric energy is created by a dam. Falling water, driven by gravity, a natural system, turns a turbine which creates mechanical energy. A hydroelectric generator converts the energy into electricity that we can use. Tides on the oceans can also accomplish the same thing. Huh? Energy from the movement of water, of tides, can be captured as energy by humans. Geothermal energy uses heat from inside the Earth. Hot steam and water can be tapped by wells and brought from deep beneath the Earth's surface. The steam can be used to spin turbines 
to generate electricity. Or the energy from the heat can be extracted directly from the pipes for humans to use as energy. Biomass, or biofuel energy, is fuel made from plant or animal waste. Energy from the sun is stored in plants. That energy is then converted into a solid, liquid, or gas that can provide energy for human use. Non-renewable resources exist in a fixed amount, so once used up, it's going to take millions of years to make more. Non-renewable resources include coal, natural gas, oil, and nuclear energy. Fossil fuels are pretty amazing. They've allowed humans to grow more food than ever before, design and build space-age homes that can control light and temperature, and even travel outside our biosphere to the moon and beyond. Unfortunately, when burned, fossil fuels create hydrocarbon pollution that harms the planet. Right now, the vast majority of energy we humans use is non-renewable. Renewable resources, solar, biofuel, hydropower, geothermal, and wind, are sometimes called alternative energy because they are less commonly used than non-renewable resources. Renewables produce less pollution and can be replenished by nature in a relatively short amount of time. Renewable. Use it, it comes back. Give it some time, it comes back. It comes back. The future of renewable technology is very exciting. Be on the lookout for cars that can be powered by water, or plants, or even state-of-the-art cars that run on electricity. Which, of course, can be powered by the sun. Natural resources are things that people use that come from the environment. They can be non-renewable or renewable. What are natural resources? Natural resources are things that people use that come from the environment.